America is at a tipping point, and it's centered right here in New York. Elizabeth, this is probably the most important re we prophesy that you've ever done. Because a nation is hanging in the balance. We can talk about tearing down strongholds, but when those strongholds have underpinned our financial systems, our government, our way of life, the way that we think, we have to understand that, that we can only survive if this nation resets and reforms. Now, last night I talked a little bit about um, Leviathan and the, the vision that I had of Leviathan being in the harbor. Um, I, had, I had that vision. It was very clear. You know, uh, I, I was just praying in tongues, and all of a sudden I could see this seven-headed monster. It had a head in each of the burrows, and so in just a minute we're going to pray for each of the burrows and decree some things over them. Um, it had a head in each of the burrows, a head in the water, and a head on the New Jersey shore, the New Jersey part. And I want to read this to you, and I think it's very interesting, um, just a couple of scriptures. Isaiah 27, 1 out of the ESV says, in that day, I want you to say in this day. In this day, the Lord with his hard and great and strong sword will punish Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, Leviathan, the twisting serpent, and he will slay the dragon that is in the sea. The word serpent comes from a Hebrew word which means a hissing snake. This is, I, how many liked all of Lew, uh, Apostle Lewis's, I'm never going to forget the half cougar, half snake, dragon thing. Whew, that scared me. Okay. The word serpent means a hissing snake to whisper a magic spell, to prognosticate an enchanter, to practice divination. The word twisting means crooked and torturous, to twist or bend out of shape, to be distorted. How many understand there's a distortion of everything that's coming out of the city? The word dragon speaks of that sea monster. Psalm 74 verse 13 in the NIV says this, it was you, Lord, who split open the sea by your power. You broke the heads of the monster in the waters. It was you who crushed the head of Leviathan and gave it as a food to the creature of the desert. This is written in Isaiah and Psalms that God himself had the ability to crush Leviathan and to break his many heads. Isaiah, I mean, sorry, um, Job chapter 41, I think it's very interesting that we find Job um, speaks about Leviathan. And when he paints the picture, he paints the picture of this monster that looks like it is impossible to be defeated. It's strong, it's mighty, it seems like it's impossible. And yet we've just read scriptures where God dealt with Leviathan. I don't have time to teach on Leviathan. I'm not here to do that. We're going to pray about it. But um, uh, Leviathan is empowered by occultic practices and idolatry. Here are some of the things, if you, if you study out Job 41, here are some of the things that are caused by the presence of Leviathan. Pride, because he's called the king of the children of pride. How many can see that there's an overarching spirit in this region that's rooted in pride? How many understand that's also affected America? Okay. Pride, arrogance, prayerlessness, stubbornness, covenant breaking, refuses to serve, intimidating. I know I'm going fast. Intimidating, a spirit of religion. It produces hopelessness, fear, apathy, strife, contention. It hates the move of the Holy Spirit. It hates revival. It causes twisted, crooked communication. It hates prophets. It causes misunderstanding. He spreads terror wherever he goes. Are we all encouraged? <laughs> Such good news. The word Leviathan means to mourn, to mourn. 
And I felt like as I prayed about this over the city when I saw this vision, I felt like the enemy has controlled this city through trauma. Just think in just in the last 20 years, 9-11, the World Trade Center, terrorist attacks, suspicious plane crashes. That goes back probably 25 years. The downing of Flight 800, very suspicious. The downing of the, the flight that went down in Queens right after 9-11, very suspicious. Hurricane Sandy. COVID. And all its fearful responses and trauma. Do you understand trauma can hold a territory captive? And when a door of trauma gets opened, it just keeps getting traumatized. And I felt like the Lord said that right now that we've got to pray because the end, there's already a plan in the works to inflict another trauma on the city. So let's stand up and let's just begin to pray. We're going to begin to pray for the city. We're going to begin to pray that God breaks off the power of Leviathan. And we're going to begin to pray that God resets the city of New York as an empire is falling. A nation is arising. Come on. As an empire is falling, a nation is arising. And any limitation that you feel like is, that can happen, God says, I, sh I shake the heavens and the earth. Read in Haggai. I don't have that scripture, but read in, the, in Haggai. God says, I'll shake the heavens and the earth. And then he goes on to say, the silver is mine. The gold is mine. Come on. He says, he, he speaks about this because we are living in the day of Haggai too. So begin to pray in the spirit with me right now. Lord, we decree, Father God, that as human beings, God, even as your ecclesia. The only power that we have is in the spirit and the only power that we have is to see you arise as a mighty man of war and to break in pieces the heads of Leviathan. And today God, we decree, Father God, that an empire spirit is falling. Empires rise and empires fall. Empires rise and empires fall. And there is an empire that is coming down. There is an empire that is collapsing. But in the midst of that collapse, oh God, a nation called by God is rising up, God. We will be the light to the nations, God. We will rediscover our God-ordained destiny. We will rediscover who you've called us to be, oh God, to be a missionary light to the ends of the earth earth, oh God. Lord, uh, we break every word that says God is done with America. And we ask today, God, that you reset us as an empire falls, as Leviathan's heads are broken in pieces, as Leviathan's power comes down, every witchcraft that's been underpinning it, every spirit of mourning and grief, we close the door of trauma. We close the door of grief. We close the access points of the heads of Leviathan to the city of New York. We decree right now, New York is that way. New York is that way. So y'all are positioned, right, to do that? So we're just going to speak to New York right now. We just speak to that Leviathan that has been controlling the city of New York. And we decree God is not just crushing your heads. He's cutting off your heads. And we decree that New York was to be a city of joy. Lord, the, the, the relief, the joy, the expectation that people felt when they sailed into our harbor, God, out of their places of oppression, into this place of new freedom, a promise of opportunity, which many have found here. And yet, God, that spirit of oppression, that spirit of trauma, that spirit of grief has held them in captivity. And Lord, we break it off now. We close the door of trauma. We close that open door of trauma. And we pray right now, God, as there is already a trauma-inducing act already in process. I feel like it's terrorism-based. But God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we decree, bring exposure right now. 
bring exposure, bring exposure to that terrorist assignment against the city. Bring exposure right now to the things that the enemy has plotted and planned to spill innocent blood. Lord, we break off the bloodthirstiness over this city, the way that the enemy has traumatized this city from the beginning through gang warfare, through mob and mob activities, through organized crime that has been sent to keep people in mourning and oppression. Lord, we break it off now in the name of Jesus. All of these outworkings of this Leviathan control, this Leviathan stronghold, we break it right now in the name of Jesus. We decree, Father God, New York City is coming in to its reset moment. We decree that it is called to be a city of kingdom reformation. That means it's called to address and to shift and to change change those things which are illegitimate, to change those things that are wrong, to change those things that are abusive, to change those things that are oppressive, and not by the humanistic strategy, but by God's strategy.